know it's been a while. Uh, first and foremost, Happy New Year. I'm going to get that in. I just wanted to talk about this thing, and other people have talked about it. I just want to put my little two cents in. And it's about online dating. Online dating, as of 2014, is DOA. Dead. Um, it is now a waste of time. It is a waste of money. And it serves more as an assault on men's self-esteem. While at the same time providing a nice little ego boost to far too many women. And I'm going to take a quick second to at least give you my insight as to how and why it went downhill. In the late 90s, early 2000s, when the internet was still kind of crawling around, not a lot of people had computers. So, people you met online through AOL, remember them? Yahoo! They were serious about meeting up. Or they were a little bit more serious about it. You know, you didn't have a whole bunch of sites like Plenty of Fish. You didn't have um, social media, you know, MySpace, remember them? Uh, and pretty soon Facebook is going to be another MySpace, thanks to stuff like Instagram, Twitter, Kick, Snapchat. But the people you ran across, because there was such a few, a limited number of people online, were real. Then, as we got more into the mid-2000s, laptops became, and remember, these people were using big clunky desktops, but then, around the mid-2000s, everyone started making the switch to laptops. You know, they become more affordable, and what a lot of people did, they got rid of their old desktops, and people, ones who didn't have internet access, would just get the second-hand desktop that had been replaced. You know, it might have been older, but they could still get online with it. So, you had an increased number of people online. Among those people in that increase were more bullshit artists, attention whores, uh, online thugs, stuff like that. But still, you could make a go of it. <clears throat> then what really... I think it's killed, what I really think is killed online dating is the advent of the smartphone. Phones that can access the internet that are fairly affordable, so even more people got online. So even more attention holes, even more internet thugs, even more people were able to have their internet life, which is totally different from their real life. So you had even more people getting online and a lot of times particularly for men going after women you saw women whom you wouldn't even give a second thought if you saw her in everyday life but now she's turning people down left and right online you know Steve Hawker has talked about this you know in which he did a little experiment where he had an unattractive woman and posted a fake profile an unattractive woman and he didn't have it up five seconds and he was getting hit bing 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 he could put up a about guys but he posted a fake profile and had a picture of a handsome guy and not even not one woman approached approached him like even online even the ugly one women are walking around with this big head you know being gassed up you know three acts like a nine and sadly, she can do that. So, the other thing that I think has done uh, online dating in is the um, advent of stuff like Facebook, you know, Snapchat, Instagram. You know, and this ties into the third reason 
Why would I um, log on to a dating site like Match.com, a friend finder, or adult friend finder, and in order to get responses and talk to people, you have to pay them money. Where Snapchat and all that is free. So that's kind of put a dent in the dating sites. But then going to the dating sites, Match.com and all them. It used to be their attitude was if we've provided you, you've been able to make a successful match, then our job is done. That's how we make our money. Well, someone very keenly in the organization, I guess, observed, well, if they make a successful match or a successful hookup, they don't need our service anymore. So what we're going to do is this. It's not about making hooking up people so they can match us about getting them to subscribe. As long as we get them to subscribe, you know, who gives a damn? So that's why you have a lot of these sites where it's free to join up, but then if somebody wants, you want to talk to somebody, you got to get a membership. And a lot of times with the memberships, I mean, you're just basically paying to be ignored. You're paying to send out emails and not get any reply. So, a waste of time and then the added little trick if you say you know I'm sick of giving them my money I'm done with this and you downgrade now all of a sudden you get all these alerts and emails and I tell you this don't fall for it it's just a way to get you to subscribe because that's all they care about subscriptions getting that money so giving you my slant on that you know fuck what these dating coaches say fuck what these PUAs say it's not your fault dude it's not your fault dating sites know that they make their money off of lonely men think about this you ever notice how sites are always free for the woman this is a sad bar you ever notice how women will get free shit and they're still not grateful? You know, they'll still bitch about shit. And it cracks me up when I look on profiles and the women will say, What is wrong with these men? Well, what's wrong, boo? Not enough guys kissing your ass? So, all I'm saying is, log off, hang on to your money. You want to meet somebody, hell, take a chance. Get out there and meet them in public and meet them in real life because you damn sure not going to find them. Or at least not find one that's worth a damn online. Not nowadays. You used to could, but you can't anymore. Out.